Good. Confident they can get the job done in front of their home crowd. Greetings and best wishes for a happy holiday season from all of us at 2K Sports as we get set for this NBA presentation. I'm Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, our terrific analysts, and David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. Now Sacramento starting five. Barnes is in the front court along with Murray. Fox in the backcourt with Herter to his side. And it's Sabonis in at the center position. And for Charlotte, up of the forward spot, it's Hayworth and Bridges. Miller is out there with Terry Rozier. And it's Williams at the five. Hey, Brent, you think we might be watching the future of the league tonight. Two very young teams with superstar level talent. Well, some teams, Kevin, develop and they try to teach lessons through losing. But what I like about these squads is they're focused on winning right now. Kicks to Hayward. Rebound by Murray. Here's Sacramento now. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. Well, and that one, they just had everything working offensively. It's a lot of fun when you get into that kind of a groove. Yeah, I love watching that game and in particular their demeanor in their destruction in that game. And so it's the Kings getting on the board first. And it's Miller penetrating. And Hayward gets it to go on the assist by Miller. A squatty kid coming into the league. Hayward has added more muscle, and I think it helps him on these physical finishes. Now, here's Sabonis. He's coming off a 28-point game against Washington. It, it equally impressive on the backboards. I thought his rebounding was huge. Now, here's Hayward following the miss shot by Sabonis. Hayward against Barnes. Hayward can hit. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Fox feeling it out a bit. Got it from 16 feet. Fox pretty good when he decides to use his speed. He's going to get the defense on their heels. Ogier the pass to Williams. Bridges with it. And now by Barnes. And Williams with the stuff. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Now, here's Fox coming off a stellar performance against Washington. And he drives in. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. And it's Rozier missing. The Kings have gone two for four from the field so far today. Fox against Williams. Murray right side. Shoots over Bridges. Murray, no good. Well, that's the only way to take him out of his comfort zone from that range. Get right up in the jersey, force him off the spot. Hayward against Fox. Shot clock at six. There's Miller with the three. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Hey, Greg, what do you like about Brandon Miller's game? You know, Kevin, for me, his combination of length and skill is something every team is looking for. The, the key in his development will be adding strength and enhancing his ability to attack off the bounce. Timeout is called first of the game for Sacramento. Getting their first look of the season at this Hornets team. You know, some teams just have your number, and that was the case between these two last season.
So a whole new group on the floor now for Charlotte. And the Kings will go for a different look here. Trey Lyles checked in for Murray. Chris Duarte comes in for Barnes. Monks checked in for Kevin Herter. And it's Mitchell in for De'Aaron Fox. Now, here's Mitchell. Here's Lyles. A rebound by Washington. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for Charlotte. Here's Richards. And DeMontis Sabonis pulls it down. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. And here is Mitchell. Over Smith. Again, the miss by the King. He giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. Smith kicks to Smith. Back to Smith. Shoots. And off target as he starts the game 0 for 1. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Duarte passes to Sabonis. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Now he's too good a finisher to blow that kind of chance, but that's going to be a wake-up call to the defense. Smith finds Washington. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Credit where credit is due. P.J. Washington is one hard-working guy on the floor. Isn't he, Greg? He's got that grittiness to him, Kevin. Values every chance he gets to affect the game. And like you said, he puts a ton of effort into his play. Shoot two. Free throw good from Washington. He makes one of two that time. The Kings trailing. Mitchell passes to Monk. We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock over Smith. The shot by Monk is no good. For Charlotte, they've gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. To the left side wing. Here's McGowan. No good with the layup. Well, the D's so tight on him, it makes him alter his shot. And an easy chance turns into a tough one because the defense is swarming. Yep, it counts. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. Yeah, hard to stop it there if you're the big man. That's just too good a shot and great concentration. Tie game here in Charlotte. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. Looking at what we've seen from the Hornets, what do you think? In that first period, they showed a willingness to make the extra pass. Now, so much unselfish play out there. The coaching staff has to be thrilled with that. And with the big collisions we see in the paint, and Greg, there are some. Some have argued for changing the charge rules. Could you see that? You know, there's talk of extending the restricted area. I've even heard some say ban charges by health defenders. I like the form idea. That seems less extreme. Up in the forward spot, it's Hayward and Bridges. Rogier's out there with Miller, and it's Williams at the center. So that's the lineup for Charlotte. Williams against Lyles. Four on the clock. The Kings need to get off a shot here. Now, here's Bridges. No scoring in this one. The kick out to Rogier. Hayward outside. For three, Bridges. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. And just a proven threat from beyond, and Bridges has a good feel for when to fire him from there. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Brandon Miller was a one-and-done in Alabama. He put on numbers and put on weight. 
He said coming into college, I couldn't really take bumps, at least not college bumps. I know building muscle mass is key, and he's not done adding muscle and layers to his game. He says it's all about the work. That's the only way you get better. Kevin? That's a good focus. Thanks, D.A. About three off the mark. The Kings trail by three. Murray, the pass to Barnes. And here is Wilds. He's guarded by Williams. Here's Fox. Williams with the block. Hayward against Barnes. Hayward kicks to Miller. Pass to Williams. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. Coaching staff would like some more shots from that range. The pass to Murray. Barnes outside. Williams against White. Passes to Fox. Murray outside. Shoots over Bridges. It's deflected. He has the length to send shots back. And I like seeing Bridges make his presence felt on this end. Chalk up two there. And it's a seven-point Hornets lead. And it seemed like they couldn't get anything to fall in that opening quarter. But you can just feel the momentum starting to shift. How a timeout called by Sacramento. And doesn't like how things are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here. Maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. And the Hornets making a change here. Washington's checked in. And then for Sacramento. Sabonis, he's checked in for Lyles. Monk comes in for Kevin Herter. And it's Mitchell in for Fox. Barnes outside. Oh, and he pucks it off the glass. Wow. Sabonis, a guy that's just always ready for physical play and will take the action right to you. It's his first trip to the line. free throw missing at this stage of the year Greg underperforming teams start to get nervous especially teams with playoff expectations and Kevin we're approaching the second half of the season right and you don't want to be on the outside of the playoff picture after that it's put up or shut up time for a few teams it's the second from the line and Sabon is such a key to this team and what they do on the inside a big man it does a little bit of everything. Bridges. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Bridges has got the lead up to eight now for the Hornets. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for the Sacramento Kings. Pass to Sabonis. He kicks it to Monk. That falls. Nice feed that time from Sabonis. Monk's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Smith the pass to Williams. Lays it up off the glass. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling down. 
Mitchell passes to Sabonis. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Good ball movement here by the Kings. Five on the clock. That's a two from Barnes. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to the Raptors. Yeah, tough game on the road. The guys you're defending, obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Yeah, they couldn't do it in that one. Always a step slow and closing out the shooters and maybe even recognition of who was on the floor. Just not enough energy, and that's a tough way to win on the road. Sabonis, the pass to Orte. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Well, he takes care of salvaging that possession for the offense by getting on the offensive glass. Washington inside. He can't hit that time. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. When it's on top, they lead by five. We'll be back shortly live from Spectrum Center. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It is a good game we have here after one half of play. Everybody, welcome back for our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny Smith. The first quarter for the Hornets was fairly even. The period wrapped up with the teams on level ground and the score tied. They were able to take control in the second quarter and finish the half ahead by five. Kenny, let's get your take on Charlotte. This is what the home fan loves to see. Their squad coming out and putting together strong performance. We'll see a couple individual standouts, but what really stand out is how hard they work and how they're playing together. Shaq, what's your take on Sacramento? Well, it's been a big night for the guys on the bench so far. The scoring has given them a real spark. I think we're going to expect a few more minutes for the reserves than usual tonight. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. The Kings trail by five. Second half underway, and here's who Mike Brown's got on the floor. Herder and Barnes are your wingmen. Sabonis is the center with Murray next to him. And it's Fox in at the one. Back to Barnes. Six to shoot. And there's the drive. Rebound by Williams. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. Hayward with the ball. Sabonis defending. Hayward can hit. The King shooting around 29% from the floor. Tough night for them all around on the offensive end. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. For Hornets coach Steve Clifford, the key is defense. He says trying to outscore other teams doesn't work. You have to do the things that take effort, like rebounding, getting loose balls, and putting your body on the line. You've got to build a game that will actually work at the end of the year when you play the important games. Kevin, back to you. All right, D.A., our thanks to you. Here's Barnes. He takes it in, and he uses the glass on the layup. Attacking is one thing, but body control another, and Harrison Barnes showing you that on that play. Williams against Sabonis. Williams, that's good. Williams has got eight. Well, you got to like his choice right there to go hard to the rack. Took it right at the teeth of the defense. Outside, Fox. Driving in, and the layup's good off the glass. Just Fox being impossible to contain right there on the drive. And now the first timeout called here for the Hornets.
And some changes here for the Hornets. Nick Richards comes in for Williams. And Smith subbed in for Bridges. And a change for Sacramento. Lyles checked in for Barnes. Hayward passes to Rozier. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Smith for three. Drills it from outside. Smith's got his first three points of the game. And once Rozier spots that hole in the defense, he just doesn't hesitate. Just sends the ball to an open shooter. Here's Herter. Count the basket. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Talk about guys, Brand who can fill those gaps out on the floor. How about Trey Lyles? Trey just getting more and more comfortable at carving out that reliable role player. Not only is this guy smart, he's also fearless. He'll throw himself into the game. For the tie, and there's Murray on the assist by Fox. Murray's got the game tied up here for Sacramento. Rozier looking around. Miller outside. A three ball. Rebound by the Kings. Sabonis has got four rebounds in this game. Rozier against Fox, and it's Fox with the jam. Pretty good. The dribble set that up, got some space, and then knocked it down. Third quarter action, and just under three and a half minutes have gone. On the wing, Rozier. Guarded by Fox. Smith for three. Sabonis grabs the board. Sabonis has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Now Fox. He's got eight. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Fox surveying that time and hard to cover when he's got options. The Kings have converted one of two free throws so far today. And 74% has been the mark for them on the season thus far. Shooting two. throw good Fox it's definitely a part of the game that Fox wants to work on and these haven't been easy for him in the past Chris Duarte is checked in for Sacramento Monk comes in for Kevin Herter Fox hits them both 110 left in the third quarter Hornets trail by four Smith outside. Now the feed to Miller. To stop the run. Bangs home the trifecta. McGowan's has got himself going with the triple. His first basket of the game. Fox against Smith. Fox gets to Monk. Outside, Fox. Pass to Orte. Five to shoot. Here's Murray. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And this young guy is a handful to deal with. Murray is so skilled at drawing foul. For Sacramento, they have shot 75% at the line tonight going three for four. First one drops. And hard not to get excited about Keegan Murray's potential. He can shoot the ball. He rebounds it. If this guy continues to grow his game, he could end up being a high-level impact player. Miles Bridges, he's checked in for Charlotte. And the Kings also making a change. Mitchell's checked in. And so Murray nails both of them. And the versatility around Murray, it's intriguing. A young forward with plenty of upside. 
Seven second difference, shot and game clock. The pass to Richards. It's hauled in by Lyles. Lyles got four rebounds now tonight. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Mitchell looking it over. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. The Kings have shot a good percentage from the free throw line so far. They've made five out of six. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Mitchell. The Kings making a switch here. And Mitchell drops them both. A big-time effort for De'Aaron Fox, providing a lot of energy for the Sacramento Kings. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. We come back right after this. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Bridges and Washington are up in the forward positions. Then it's Williams. Then there's Terry Rozier. And it's McGowan's in at the two. So that's the lineup for Charlotte. And that one drops for him. Barnes has got the lead up to seven now for the Kings. We're using every bit of muscle he's got on that one. What can I say? Harrison Barnes likes to get in and attack. Williams passes to McGowan. Here's Washington. Covered by Barnes. Unloads. They get it again. Herder against Bridges. Herder, no good. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. And he's able to get it back. Out that one, and the Kings lead has been cut to just five on the basket from Washington. And for Sacramento, they're shooting 43% for the game. Mitchell outside. Again with the block. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That one on Monk. And to look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Kings. They've been in the zone for mid-range all game long. And, and they've made the most of any chance they've found in that space. And I feel like there's been an old school aspect to what they've done tonight. And that is pounding the ball inside, getting it down low, getting those looks in close. That's been effective. And he can't get the first one. Gordon Hayward's checked in for the Hornets. And then for Sacramento. Murray's checked in for Malik Monk. And De'Aaron Fox subbed in for Mitchell. And the second free throw, good. Listen, they're still right in this thing. Missing that free throw, though, keeps this a two-possession deficit. Barnes outside. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level. And his tonight has been high. 
and Hayward gets it to go. And how about Hayward mixing it up inside there? Shows he can score on either side of the three-point line and, and really makes him more difficult to guard. Herter, and he banks in the layup. And the Kings lead by four. And offensively, they finally seem to be coming around after an ugly first half. Pass to Hayward. Sabonis against Williams. Pass to McGowan's. Lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that, here's Fox. We're in the final quarter of play here, three minutes in, and stolen by Hayward. Pass to Bridges. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. Bridges has got it all tied up now for the Hornets. There's a fearlessness that Bridges brings to this team. He just welcomes the chance to take important shots. Here's Fox. An easy two points on the way. That is a mature play from De'Aaron Fox. Not afraid to take the big one. Charlotte calls timeout. They're trailing by two. 146 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Let's present our New Balance player of the game, De'Aaron Fox. And, and to me, the best part of his game has been the work he's done inside. I mean, slashing, driving the lane, attacking the basket at every chance. When he's had an opening, he's taken it. And the Hornets making a change here. Miller's checked in. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Alder. What's the latest, David? Well, I was able to listen in on what Steve Clifford had to say to his team. He told him to pick up the pace. He said, if we're going to win, we have to seize this moment and act fast. He said, go all out or go home. Kevin? Thank you, David. And De'Aaron Fox having one of those nights where he's feeling it. And Rozier, here we go. Good. A great sign of how confident Rozier is. He wants to be the leader, and you need your leader to come through with buckets like that. Fox, no good. And they're in position to take the lead. And how big would a bucket be at this stage of the game? Bridges finds Rogier. Into the lane. And the officials call a traveling violation. Yikes, that one stings there. Hurts so much more to turn the ball over, especially with how tight the game is. P.J. Washington, he's checked in for Miles Bridges. And so Mike Brown calls a timeout.
There's 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Fox. And they recover it. Sabonis kicks to Barnes. It's good! That is world class. Love seeing that there. A huge possession, and he nets it. Points are an absolute must here. Can't come away empty. That would be the nail in the coffin. As Rogier doesn't go that time. Good work defensively by Fox. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. High pressure moment here for De'Aaron Fox. No need to rush. Just focus on the hoop. And he does get the second one. And that makes it a three-point lead. And the Hornets call time here. They're behind by three. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Nice. What's your take? And if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a foul. Don't force something up. You got to be smart here. Rozier against Fox. Shoots from 12. And DeMontis Sabonis pulls it down. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Shooting two. free throw is good and that gives them a four point cushion now part of being a point guard like Fox is you handle the ball a lot and you get a lot of opportunities late in the game so clutch free throws are something you have to be ready for now that'll ice it right there not everybody can keep their composure at the line in such a big situation and it's Washington missing having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter yeah, as good as you can do without getting a block there to defend so the Kings win it a narrow win under difficult circumstances Greg as the visiting team it really was but that didn't seem to bother them. I mean road team home team all I know is they were the better team well said and that'll wrap it up folks for Brent Berry Greg Anthony and David Aldridge this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2k sports crew thanking you for tuning in so long and good night everyone Thank you.